So welcome back. We'll pick up right where we left off. Uh, Vilima, we, we got a lot of good information from you. Uh, talk a little about the benefits of meditation. What does it bring us? Oh, there are innumerable benefits of meditation. And to begin with, it really awakens within you a powerhouse of energy. So the first thing is all those who feel constantly fatigued and go through life feeling miserable with pains and feeling of tiredness and lethargy, it really shakes you off from that mode to a super energetic person. The other thing that, it happen, that happens naturally is you begin to start becoming very efficient and at the same time also very focused. So whatever you try to really do, earlier if you were taking three hours for that, now the same work you'd be able to complete within one third the time. So your efficiency, your speed really increases. The other thing is decision making. Your decisions get fine tuned and sharpened and a new kind of direction flows to you which makes you go to the path that really becomes productive and successful for you. Also if you look at life from another perspective which is if you're stressed and if you have a lot of tensions and anxieties in life and if life is a big burden for you, as it is for most of us, <laughs> then this creates again a new resource within you which empowers you to handle situations in life, take up challenges and take up difficult situations in life, not feeling stressed, feeling quite relaxed and feeling that now I have the confidence to handle it all. So that's another big benefit. And I really, I could go on enumerating endlessly so many things like creativity. You become creative. You become a great problem solver too. You, above all, become a good leader and an inspirational leader. So you're able to motivate people to do work. And you also become compassionate, kind, and this quality of true love flows through you. So that genuineness of a person again becomes evident when you start meditating. So your true self is awakened. Most importantly, your communication skills are also realized in a way that you do not hurt anybody through your communications. You are free from criticism and evaluations and that makes your communication genuine. So there are so many benefits and of course finally, finally you become a balanced personality. There is harmony within your mental, emotional and physical processes. Also financially, you'll start progressing, prospering and really getting the success that was destined for you in your life. So there are so many, so many benefits and each one can discover a new whole lot of new benefits for themselves. As I said, it is a journey and you discover things along this journey about yourself, which is truly exciting and amazing. And I would really urge everyone to step into this and get on with the inner travel. That, that's amazing. Just hearing what you went through is pretty much what each one of us is seeking. We are here in this world and we are seeking that inner Zen, right? But we are all living in this world where we are all in some way, shape or form also part of either a, a, a workforce 
a, a home, right? Trying to do the right things, trying to balance life and our inner sense of, of peace that we need. So um, you have me on track for it, for sure, because mm -hmm. that's, that's amazing. What, if any, research is happening in the field of meditation today? Meditation has been profoundly researched because it is a very fascinating state of consciousness. And like sleep, dreaming, and other states of consciousness, meditation is a unique state where if you map the state in terms of brain waves and the alpha rhythm that emerges during the state of meditation, you realize that it is a state where the brain is deeply relaxed. It's almost in a silence zone. And this then creates the potential and the power of the brain to attain that complete knowledge of yourself, complete expression of yourself, and therefore self-realization. So it is a research that is looking into how the physiological changes take place also with meditation how personality is transformed through meditation. So research is on different frontiers trying to really unravel the mystery of meditation. And one such area which I wanted to explore was how the biochemistry of our body is modified when you start meditating. Hmm. So I researched on the chemicals, the chemicals like acetyl, acetylcholinesterase and cholinesterase which are very important for learning and important in our perceptual processes and I found that changes happen and acetylcholinesterase which is an excitatory uh, hormone really helps the process of learning. So hormones and the biochemistry is also one area which is researched deeply by very many scientists in the field of meditation. And I can go on and on with volumes and of research, but I think this would be adequate for our audience today to realize that it is not something which is just a spiritual mumbo jumbo. Mm. It is a very unique state of consciousness which can be created and realized by all. <laughs> so that's what I feel it's we need to realize and grow from. It is phenomenal to see and hear your insight into the scientific aspect. I'm glad you, you mentioned that as well because I did not know this and I'm sure a lot of our listeners did not know that, that, uh, that level. So th thank you so much, first and foremost, for sharing your enlightened um, self here, all of the, the details you've given us, all of the elaborations. They're truly, truly amazing. And I can't thank you enough for that. But let's switch then, because you are here to, to, for us to gain this sense and this enlightenment and this journey. So tell me what your plans are in, in Dallas. You are here to, to spread this this spiritual enlightenment of yours so tell me a little bit about that and then i do want to tell our listeners about some of the sessions we have planned with you uh, this coming sunday um, roly i travel around the world sharing this knowledge because this as i said is my mission it is peace for the world that i truly desire and I feel that peace will only come in the world if one is peaceful within. And so at the individual level, the level of our frustration, the level of our anger and aggression can only be handled 
through an internal process and that internal reworking is meditation. Until we have rewired ourselves again to be peaceful, to be harmonious and to realize that each one is valuable in this world and each one can contribute something to the progress of mankind. And that I feel brings me to Dallas to meet as many people as possible and I have been meeting and sharing this with several people, one-on-ones, groups and different uh, areas of Dallas where we are having these meditation sessions and I would welcome all my friends and others to come to the special session on Sunday. And I think Crowley will tell you more about it, where it is and when it is. Yes. So with my heart, I welcome all of you to be there on Sunday and to experience this wonderful phenomenon. Thank you, Ma. And I, I, I truly uh, encourage people to come out. The session that we just talked about is this Sunday. It is at the Minerva Banquet in Plano, which is at the intersection of Coit and um, Spring Creek Road. All of the details for this, it is 4 to 5.30 on Sunday evening. All of the details, the address will be posted at satyavatifoundation.com. So that is www.satyavatifoundation.com. Uh, let me spell it out. S-A-T-Y-A-V-A-T-I. F O U N D A I T O N dot com. And there is also, we will be putting this up in, in Facebook and Insta as well at Satyavati Spiritual Foundation. So again, at Satyavati, S A T Y A V A T I, Spiritual, S P I R I T U A L Foundation, F O U N D A T I O N. Uh, we will be putting up all of the information again, the address of Minerva Banquet. Remember Plano, Coit and Spring Creek uh, on Sunday um, at 4 and it'll go on until 4.30. But I truly welcome every one of you because we, you will learn from the enlightened uh, soul that Ma is. You have heard her today. Her words are profound. They are simple but they are profound and like she said, you should start off with that teacher who knows, right? And couldn't find a better time and a better teacher for you to kick off your journey into, into that enlightenment and, and Zen that we're all looking for and, and trying to achieve in different ways, shape or form. So I cannot thank you enough for your time today. And I cannot thank you enough for, for um, being here, helping us through this. And, and imparting your blessings in your way uh, for all of us. Um, so thank you, thank you so much. I also wanted to say a big thanks to, to our good friends at Desi Plaza TV who've been kind enough to give us the space and time to share this with the community. And uh, we all hope to see you this coming Sunday at the session. Thank you. Thank you, Roli. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone in the studio. And thank you all for listening into Desi Plaza and getting some of your dreams to come true. <laughs> May God bless you all. Thank you. <laughs>